All right, kiddos, today we're going to talk about calculations with sig figs because that obviously is sort of the important thing for sig figs. You might get asked a question about counting up the number of sig figs, but where it really matters is when we actually do math, when we take some measurements, we've got some data, we do some calculations, we punch it into our calculator, and then where do we round it? Well, we round it to the right number of sig figs. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is how to do the sig figs part. So there are two different methods um, that calculations matter for us. So one's addition and subtraction. The other one is going to be multiplication and division. Multiplication and division is going to be 95% of what we do, but I think you need to know how to do addition and subtraction, so we'll work on one of those real quick. So let me write an addition problem up here real quick, and then we'll walk through it real quick, punch out the number, and then show how to round to the correct number of sig figs. Okay, so here's our problem. 780.2 meters plus 9.004 meters. Obviously, these two measurements were took, taken with different measuring devices. This one was accurate down to um, a millimeter. This one was only accurate down to a decimeter. Okay, so two different things. Now, that matters because that's going to say that we can only, um, when we round to sig figs at the end, that we have to worry about what was the least precise measurement. So, do the math real quick. And by the way, anytime you're doing sig fig calculations, do the calculation first, then worry about the sig figs, okay? So we're going to add everything together here. 789.204 meters. And so the question is, is that okay? Can I let that be? Well, here's the thing, is that if I do the math and I get this, that implies that everything I added together was as precise as that last measurement. That obviously is not the case. Okay, this measurement was a lot less precise. So whenever you're at adding and subtracting, what you do is you essentially take the least precise measurement and cut it off there. So that's the least precise down to the one decimal place, down to the decimeter place essentially. And so we would then round that to that. There's not a certain number of, number of sig figs in this case. It's where's the decimal, how many places do I go to? So in this case, that becomes 789.2 meters. That would be my answer correctly rounded to the right number of sig figs, okay? And of course, you'll work a few of these and practice a few of these, but I think that's pretty straightforward for most everybody. And again, addition and subtraction are a really small part of what we're doing. Let's move on then to multiplication and division, which is going to be most of what we do. All right, so here's the multiplication problem. This is going to work out slightly differently because what matters for multiplication and division isn't the precision so much. I mean, that's part of what we're doing, but it's not how many decimal places or what unit we stopped at. What really matters in this case is how many sig figs does each of the things have. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and punch this in, get my number out, okay? So we plug this into the calculator and we get 28.3322, okay? And obviously that's meters squared because it's meters times meters. That seems like a big number. Most of you would probably go ahead and write that in the blank, but most of the time your teachers aren't going to want all that. They're going to want a smaller condensed number in science, rounded to the correct number of sig figs. That's what we're looking for. So, how do I know how many sig figs here? Well, here's the way it works for multiplication and division. It's always the least number of sig figs in your original measurements. So if we go back to our original measurements, these are pretty easy because everything's non-zeros. So this one has three sig figs, and this one has two sig figs. And so what that means is that my answer should then only have two significant figures. Now this is where it's going to get crazy for some of you all. So I'm going to go and count my two sig figs here. So one, two, I'm going to take that, and that's going to tell me that I've got 28 meters squared. Now, most of you all are really going to not like that because you're like, well, that answer isn't as precise. There's not as many decimal places. I need to keep some of those because otherwise that answer isn't correct. No, actually this is the correct number. Okay, this reflects the number of significant figures that were in the original problem, and we need that. If, we, if we're not doing that properly, then our answers are all going to be incorrect. Okay, I know that's going to bother some of you all. You're not losing any precision. You are accurately reflecting the precision in the original measurements. All right, let's work one more real quick. All right, so division, velocity calculation, okay, distance over time. I've got 62.589 meters divided by 24 seconds. Okay, so same thing applies. Least number of significant figures is what really matters here. Okay, so we got to punch this in. We're going to do the math. And so let me grab my paper here real quick. 
So the answer to this one is 2.607875. Okay. Now, again, now we're starting to get into the, fra the frame or the number here where you're like, that's probably too many. My teacher's not going to want that many. And you're absolutely correct. Your teacher is not going to want that many. So how do you know what is the correct thing? And by the way, I forgot units on that. No naked numbers. Make sure you always put your units on there. So how do I know how many sig figs? Well, again, it's the least number of sig figs. This top one has five sig figs. This bottom one has two sig figs. And for any multiplication or division problem, what matters is the least number. You round to the least number. So two is lower than five, so I round to two sig figs. That gives me one, two, and so that's my two sig figs. My answer then is going to be 2.6 meters per second. Again, I know that, that, I know that the idea of doing calculations of sig figs is going to drive some of you all nuts because you feel like you're losing precision. But remember, the whole, the whole big idea, the overarching idea of significant figures is accurately reflect the precision that you're working with. Okay, you're, you're not losing precision, you're reflecting the proper precision. And that's why we're doing that. All right, thanks a lot, kiddos.